So this question is asked by one of the peers uh, in the in the class and uh, the question is what is meant by mobility anchor IP point of presence and what nodes are responsible for IP point of point of presence in LTE. So in order to answer this question you guys already are aware of the architecture of LTE but just to before we look at that particular question point of present or POP also termed as POP IP POP it basically represents a gateway that gateway is used to get connection to rest of the world so in case of LTE network if you draw it quickly this is the RAN side it is connected with SGW and then it is also connected with PGW which is also termed as packet data network gateway and then uh, this cloud which I have drawn that is your internet or other external network so let's draw it over here as internet or external network and then similarly you have other control entities here for example you will have MME and then you will have HSS as well which I will not draw over here but the idea here is so the node which is being connected with the rest of the world or rest of the internet is packet data network gateway or PGW so in case of LTE the IP point of presence is given by packet data network gateway so we can simply say that this is the node which is acting as the gateway using which a UE let's say this is U at the extreme left end and you have a connection with the tower so for the UE or a user which wants to get connect with the rest of the world PGW is providing that opportunity so the gateway with which it where all the APNs will end or connect to the external network in this case it is PGW or packet data network gateway now this is where a challenging question comes and someone may ask and say okay what about SGW can SGW act as an IP point of presence as well so it depends on what particular orientation or what particular deployment of the network we are considering in now many operators if they are serving their own specific network many operators deploy both SGW and PGW as in just one box so what I have done is I have put both of them together in just one box if both SGW and PGW are configured in the same box then we will call it as SGW PGW together both of them are configured so in that case your SGW PGW the whole box will be or the node will be considered as IP point of presence so that is your uh, mobility or uh, usually SGW acts as mobility anchor and I will talk about that later uh, in after this discussion but then you can simply answer that question and say yes SGW PGW will act as a uh, IP point of presence of so both SGW and PGW are configured to be of uh, a configured the same node is be configured to act as both okay so that's the simple understanding when it comes to IP point of presence now if you look at another part of question it also says that a mobility anchor so what is mobility anchor and what does it mean by this over here so there is another question after this uh, video you will see where I will explain more about it uh, talking about mobility anchor let's take a look at another diagram and usually before I show you the other diagram usually this node which is SGW usually mobility anchor is the term associated with this node and why it is associated with this node let's take a look at this diagram which I'm going to share so if you look in this diagram specifically what you will observe is you have a number of SGWs and then even though as a user if you are moving from one base station to another base station you are you, your UE will be doing a handover and in addition to doing handover SGW will be changing as well let's say if this is SGW number one this is SGW number two this is SGW number three so no matter if you are moving from one base station to another base station and in addition your SGW is also changing the PGW is the same it is not changing in the overall 
area so your SGW basically is giving you this mobility as well mobility meaning your IP address will remain the same as long as your PGW is same number one and SGW is acting as your mobility anchor no matter you connect to which particular node as you are doing handover even if your SGW sometimes it's changing sometimes it's not changing this is giving you the freedom that you can move from one tower to another tower at the same time your PGW and your IP point of presence remains the same so uh, from the perspective of mobility anchor IP point of presence keep this thing in mind it just means in other words that no matter if you are moving from one side to another side you will be have your gateway will remain the same and in case if you have uh, in case if you have both SGW and PGW configured uh, in the same node then in that case uh, the PGW will also be acting as your mobility anchor or in addition to acting as your uh, IP point of presence meaning it has connection with the rest of the world so the diagram should answer that specific question so back to the question which was what is meant by mobility anchor IP point of presence so you can simply answer that in short the PGW node packet data network gateway node are the, are, is the one responsible for IP point of presence because this is the one co uh, co communicating with rest of the world or rest of the other uh, networks external networks and if you have SGW PGW configured together then you will say SGW PGW node and then mobility anchoring concept we discussed already now someone can extend the question and uh, extend it okay what nodes are responsible when it comes to IP point of presence in addition to these nodes you can say yes SGW, PGW and PCRF is another node which stands for policy charging rule function because that is the one when you are setting up APNs when you are setting up uh, different bearers for different users that is also the one which is which carries the rules based on which a particular bearer will be set up or not what quality should be given so on and so forth so that is also the one responsible in helping when you are setting up a particular IP point of presence so you can simply say those question more diverts towards the core network information however the question can be asked and then you have the information now to answer this specifically